welcome to Camp Hill Kids Online Sunday School. I'm Mrs. Stoner. And I'm Miss Angie. Are you guys ready to get started? Let's get up and dance. All right, everybody. Clap your hands now. Let's make some waves together. Let's change the world. Come on. God, I'm so amazed by your goodness. I love the way that you love me. I got this joy flowing deep in my soul now. so I can't go. It was going to be so much fun. First, we we're going to put on fun floaties. Then, we we're going to pretend we we're in the ocean and see who can make the biggest giant wave. And then, we we're going to try to blow bubbles in the water. But now I don't get to do any of that. I guess I don't need my sun hat anymore. Hey, what kind of face is on this rock? Yep, it's a smiley face. 
the wrong kind of face for today. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Found a smile just now, did you? Hey, Ollie. That rock has a smiley face on it, but I can't go play in the pool, so I do not feel like smiling. Things don't always go our way. It's true. But even then, there is something we can do. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. <laughs> Hola, friends. It's so good to see you. I just finished making this fun instrument. Do you know what it is? <laughs> yes, it's a tambourine. I love to show joy by singing. And when I have a tambourine to play, I can show even more joy. <laughs> Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Our true story from the Bible is about two friends of Jesus named... Paul and Silas. One time, Paul and Silas were in jail. Being in jail means they could not go outside and see their friends. They could not go to the kitchen and get something to eat whenever they wanted. When Paul and Silas were in jail, they had to just stay there. <sighs> it was not fun. Wait, what are Paul and Silas doing? Yes, they're singing. But why? They shouldn't have this much joy while they're in jail. But they're singing and praising Jesus with joy. Paul and Silas knew no matter where they were, Jesus was still their friend forever. And he helped them choose joy. Then something awesome happened. While Paul and Silas were singing and praising with joy, there was an earthquake! Oh, everybody shake! And the doors to the jail flew wide open. But Paul and Silas didn't leave. They stayed there to tell the guard that Jesus is alive and he wants to be his friend forever. Then the guard had joy too. <laughs> Jesus is so awesome. He can help us choose joy no matter what. We can choose joy when we're at the playground or at the doctor, on sunny days or rainy days. Jesus can help us choose joy. Jesus can help us do everything. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you soon. Adios! So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus helped Paul and Silas choose joy. And he can help us choose joy, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Paul and Silas chose joy and sang even when things weren't going their way. Jesus can help me choose joy, too. Joy can change the world. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? 
You know what? I can't choose joy today. I'm going to make a fun card for my friend that is sick. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for hanging out with us today to learn more about Jesus. We hope to see you Sunday morning here at the church for Sunday school. If you have any yay God moments or a prayer request that you would like to share with us, let us know. Bye. Bye.